All right, well, my uh, time lapse cut out there, but yeah, all that crap is up. Uh, I used the hose here, hi Cora, and blasted out some of the dirt. There's a little bit left there, but I am going to try to sweep that stuff out once it dries. But yeah, now it's time to put up the new screen tent thing. All right, and there we are. That is done. I've got a dog inside. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Cora? Hi. Hi, Cora. Are you in doggy jail? Can I come out this way? Come on. Over, over here. The key is to not let that one run through it. Actual fuck. How did this happen? Well, uh, yeah, I'm just leaving that thing flipped over because <laughs> if it's gonna continue to storm, because that, like, the storm hasn't really even begun yet, uh, just the winds prior to it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. I'll I'll deal with it later um, because it seems like it's wedged in there pretty good. So rather than try to set it up and have it flip again or something, we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, it is nearing the end of my work day here, almost 4.30. I would normally have a sprint meeting from 4.30 to 5.30 today, but with my boss being out of town last week, uh, he's a little bit, he's playing catch up. so. Didn't have time to get things set up for uh, planning, and so yeah, we're pushing that to Wednesday or Thursday, which is okay, because I have a handful of things that I still need to work on. Honestly, I feel like uh, I probably won't get a ton of new work this next coming sprint, because uh, so much of the work is still left over from this one. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, I have plenty to do. I'm getting to that here. I am 
yeah, I started off today feeling really bummed out about stuff. Uh, my mood has shifted pretty much like 180. Uh, so that's good. It's a good thing. I am just going to keep rolling with that, try to get some work done. I have a call with a friend tonight who my transition time kind of uh, directly intersected with her uh, transition time in her own way. And so we've both had very busy schedules and we were in touch very frequently before this. We started a business together <laughs> basically there's nothing to talk about there because we essentially put it on pause um but we had lots and lots of conversations about that so yeah so we're gonna catch up tonight which is uh really really cool because yeah as you know like as you move on through seasons of your life when you talk to people regularly, friends, and then <clears throat> kind of ebbs and flows into a season of not talking as much. Uh, yeah, it's just different, right? And you kind of forget how nice it is to be talking to that individual on a regular basis. So really looking forward to that. Otherwise, uh, just kind of chilling tonight. That's where I'm at. I am going to knock out this last hour of work and be productive and finish some things. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I almost said Tuesday. Uh, I think it's because I was just watching back last week's video and I said Tuesday. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anywho, uh, hello. It is pretty early, earlier than I'm normally talking to you. Uh, it's a quarter to eight. I am trying to do a few things here for a couple reasons. One, uh, yesterday was a busy day, mainly busy because I was stuck on something that I was working on, which uh, led to a lot of frustration. Basically something that, you know, shouldn't have taken me this long and is because that's not moving a lot of the other tasks that I have in my pipeline my backlog are not moving and yeah just like really feeling pressured I'm getting no pressure from outside of myself um, but it's just to the point to where it's like you know that other people see your work isn't moving uh, so yeah I'm just frustrated I'm just frustrated because I feel like uh, you know, it's it's been <laughs> we're at Thursday morning here, and my my like project management board. I haven't really moved anything since the start of the week. So frustrating day. Uh, went to bed feeling super overwhelmed. Uh, do you ever I have a question for you? Because I was thinking about this last night. Do you ever? <laughs> I feel like this is <laughs> like more of a big thinker deep feeler thing so like especially if you're an empath or you're a highly sensitive person um which if you don't know these things i mention this every so often on here uh but you can 
take the highly sensitive person test at hsperson.com. I highly recommend this if you're not familiar about uh, with this about yourself. Um, it's something that I always knew I was an empath, like deep feeler, those types of things. But when I really learned and embraced the fact that I'm a highly sensitive person and what that means, and it's not necessarily what it sounds like, um, just means that we're really sensitive to stimuli, essentially, not that we're emotionally sensitive, even though that can be true also. So anyways, <laughs> go check hsperson.com out if you haven't. Uh, but back to what I was gonna say is, have you ever felt so overwhelmed that you feel like you could throw up? <laughs> uh, that's where I was at last night and kind of carrying it into today. Just like, I mean, I think it's really just a factor of feeling so like up against the wall and like so boxed in. There were, because of what the day was yesterday and how hyper-focused, and I get this crazy tunnel vision when I get stressed out. Um, I can't see anything outside of it. Jesse didn't feel well yesterday, and I was not as present as I would have liked for her. She was very gracious, um, but like, I would have normally wanted to take care of her more, but I, I mean, it's truly like this, this like trauma response of like no I can't I can't do anything I have to fix this I have to figure this out um, and I feel it when I'm in it and it feels really bad but I like truly feel like I can't give it up <laughs> like I have to it's yeah it's just a really intense thing and I'll, I'll probably continue to talk about this a little bit more um, because yeah I've had a lot of uh, personal growth, so to speak, emotional, spiritual growth over the past, you know, handful of years of my life, especially the past couple. Uh, this is one area that I still really struggle with, and I think that this chapter of my life is really to um, learn to work with this better for myself and to understand that, like, the stress that I feel and that, like, uh, what's the word for it? It's like the the urgency of that thing in that moment is like my mind is blowing it way out of proportion, right? Like, sure it matters, but not like nearly that much. So, um, oh, for example, I ditched puppy class last night um, for two two big reasons. One, I was not in a good place. Uh, I was really, really frustrated, and the thought of like going around, being around other people, uh, and the, the second part of this is part of this, but just like being in the situation that I was going to be in, I just, I could like feel in my system, I just did not have the bandwidth it for it, for, for better or for worse, right? Like, should I have been able to? Sure, maybe, but I just like, it just wasn't uh, happening. So the second half of that is, uh, you know now, if you've been watching for a while, um, we're, you know, a handful of weeks in, we're essentially like the second to last class, and I've just been disappointed with what this has been. Um, I just feel like it's, it's almost like a supervised puppy daycare, like, like, we go there and we just kind of like play games and stuff. And not that that's like inherently bad. Uh, I do think it's been really beneficial for Finn, but at the same time, it's not really what I wanted or needed for him. Um, it's just not very structured or regimented. And I think that that would have just been more beneficial. So anyways, what this class was going to be was we were essentially going to, we spent like the last like two classes walking around. And again, while it's great to get him stimuli to people, places, things we're not usually going and doing, it's like we go you know around the neighborhood or in nature. But the problem with that is that when we're with a class of people, and we're walking around, like, 
she's not working with me on Finn not pulling me all over the place, which is the major problem, the one thing that he doesn't do well and that we, you know, we're, we're trying to hopefully get training for. Um, so when we just walk around for an entire hour, uh, like, and I, I, you know, we're like walking together, so it's like I don't have the space to be correcting him and stopping and turning and doing all the things that I need to be doing. I'm really just, for one, uh, ingraining a bad habit for him because I'm not training it out of him. And then for both of us, it's just unenjoyable because he's pulling, I'm getting exhausted. Like, <laughs> it's just... Um, so I've been frustrated with it in general. And so then where I was at last night wasn't a good... What well, just wasn't going to happen. So where I was going with this was, one, I wanted to share that, but then also I ended up, because I still felt committed and Jesse like backed, you know, kind of like said the same thing with her. She's like, well, if you're not going, you have to like spend the time with him. And I agreed. Um, and so uh, I took him to the nearest nature preserve, which is like very close, really s small place, but really pretty. Uh, and so we went there and, you know, we, we worked to get together out in the, the field, the meadow, uh, for a good half hour or so. Um, and that was what I needed. Like, and this all brings me back to where I started this, which is it also, it calmed my system because it reminded me that like, that's like the, the work isn't, it's real life, but it's also not, right? Like going and being in nature and like the, sun, you know, sunset, um, you got all the, the birds, and all of that just really starts to calm my nervous system and it's like like okay we're okay we're safe right like that's um really what happened and so anyways that felt really good it was what i needed uh it still only brought me down a certain amount and then i got home and i realized there were some other more like personal type things that i had wanted to do or needed to do uh, and then, so those things combined with <laughs> where I'm at work-wise and just new, like going into today, coming full circle. Uh, the other reason I'm up so early is that I am bringing Cora into the vet, um, which I totally forgot about. Again, tunnel vision until Jesse reminded me last night and was like, hey, remember you have to do this tomorrow. I was like, oh my God, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, taking her to the vet. She has this, like, lump in the middle of her chest that has, um, definitely grown. So, um, slightly concerning. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go take that. Probably, I'm assuming they stick a needle in there and extract some of it and biopsy it or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. What I am doing right here uh, is creating the thumbnail for the prior week's vlog that is just going up on a Thursday morning. <laughs> um, I've really been trying to get back into it and just struggling, mainly because the rhythm was helpful. Uh, and so now that I haven't been in that rhythm, there's always been an excuse, right? Like it's it's so easy to not get back in a rhythm. So here we are uh, <laughs> posting my video on Thursday morning, but this week I'm like, I don't even care if nobody watches it or if I'm putting it out at the same exact time as last week's video, but like I have to get back on this. I did all the filming. It's all like, I just need to get back into it. So, um, video is going up now. Apologies for my tardiness, um, but yeah, I'm trying to get back into it after a tough week of work a few weeks ago. Anyways, this turned into something much longer than I expected, which feels really good since I haven't really sat and talked to you uh, 
in a bit because I, I don't do that a ton in last week's vlog, as you noticed if you watched. Um, but yeah, it feels really good to like get some of this off my chest and I am going to try to continue to do this going forward because um, I know that I'm not the only one that struggles with things and that it's really helpful when you're not in a great place to hear that other people struggle with stuff too. So trying to be more present uh, and less tunnel vision in these very intense moments for myself. But otherwise, thanks for uh, starting off my Thursday with me and I'll see you soon. Hey there, friend. It's Friday. The week is over. It's 5.35. I'm driving. It's letting loose. No, not really. I'm going to grab Qdoba. Uh, yeah, Jesse was feeling it and it sounded good to me. So here we go. Um, I am less than excited I'm less excited than I should be for this time on a Friday. <laughs> uh, I just had the least productive Friday afternoon. And for like no real reason, I feel like my brain wasn't fully working. Um, I just felt kind of spacey, but I also like wasn't uh, it's not because I was like doing other stuff or like thinking about other stuff. It's like I don't know. I don't know what it was because like I <laughs> came downstairs and I was like uh, to Jesse, I was like I'm so fucking pissed right now, <laughs> and uh, and she was like, well, why why was it so unproductive? I was like, I don't even know. That's why it's so frustrating. Um, the the story of how my afternoon went is. I had a meeting with another guy in the team that took about 45 minutes to do something that should have been a two minute task. And that's not his fault, it's not my fault. Um, but it just turned into something ridiculous. Uh, and that's just kind of like the story of the afternoon. Like, <laughs> it just seems like everything went kind of like that for no good reason. So really frustrating just because I had, I feel like I, I said the other day, like I, I was kind of stuck with some stuff, um, but I feel like the week was ending on a good note. We did some, I finally got our sprint planning in and stuff like that. And uh, it just seemed like, you know, my, essentially I wasn't as like behind as I maybe felt um, and the work that I had done was good and sufficient so yeah that had kind of eased some of my frustrations of being stuck um, but that said I definitely had a lot of work to do and have a lot of work to do in the next week so yeah, I just like, I really wanted to end the week on a note where I was able to like cross some things off and definitely wasn't the case. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know. Just frustrated, you know? It's like, you want to go into a weekend with some momentum like that. I, and I guess some people are probably different. 
uh, in terms of like they don't give a shit they just want to get to the weekend but like for me I actually want to do a good job and care about my work so so yeah so it's just frustrating uh, I am using this as an opportunity to vent a little bit uh, because I, I just want to be able to drop it uh, I don't want to hold on to this I do think I am going to have to log in tomorrow and do at least just like the smallest things to push progress in the right direction slash set myself up for success early next week like on Monday um, because yeah I just I, I think that'll help me feel a little bit better but I'm vowing to myself and to you my friend <laughs> that uh, I'm gonna let it go for now it just it is what it is. Can't do anything about that now. Uh, and we will <clears throat> try to straighten a few things out tomorrow and then pick back up next week and hope that things go a little bit smoother. So here we go. Off to, I'm almost at Qdoba now, so I will pick up the food, head back home. Uh, Jesse and I might hang out tonight, watch some stuff, because uh, we don't watch a ton together during the week. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. See you soon. Happy Friday. baby You're perfect <laughs> vlog life <laughs> Street.